So why do we need a policy? Well, we need a policy because there are women who are badly affected by the menopause and we need to be explaining what it is that we're going to do to support those women. We need to think about what to include in the policy and in doing that we need to think about this breadth of experience that I've referred to. And then we need to think about some of the issues around implementing the policy, who's doing what, how are we bringing it to the attention of women and, and how are we doing it in an appropriate manner given this range of experiences and given the fact that not all women want to talk about it. As I've already said, it's a subject that we're talking about a lot more than we used to do so, but that doesn't mean that all women want to talk about it. So where is the support? Is it an employee assistance programme that we might refer the woman to? Is it in this policy having links to organisations that offer specialist support? Is it suggesting going to the women's GP? Just having a section in that policy about the support that can be sought would be really useful. And then the confidentiality. What can we promise and what, what can we not promise? So if a woman goes to HR, for example, and she tells them she's struggling, what are they going to do with that information? Are they going to want to talk to the women's line manager? Very likely. So what confidentiality can be assured? And just as importantly, what confidentiality cannot be assured? So when writing this section of your policy, try to put yourself in the, the mind of a woman who is menopausal, who's reading the policy because she wants to know what support she can get. And it might even be useful to have a focus group with some women if if they are willing to um, be involved in this and ask them to talk through what they would want to see in a policy. What would they find useful? Now, the policy is going to vary depending on the, the nature of the work and the what the organisation does, but it does need implementing. And when we implement the policy, we should be consulting with those who are affected and consulting about the content. As already said, maybe a focus group with a group of women could be really useful in saying, right, I put the bare bones of the policy together. Is it covering what you would want to see covered? Is there anything I've missed? What is your experience in the workplace? Is there anything else that could go in there? And then when the policy is implemented, communicating that to those who need to know. 